Hello everybody and welcome to Song of the Prairie. This is a game by the Droplets Studio and it is a farming town building. You know the sorts of games that, that the She Labs like and that and the, the Snuggle Bugs like. This is the kind of game that I think this is going to be. So we're going to be well into this one, I think. Um, still got a bit of localization dust up to do, brush up, I guess. Uh, but other than that, it's looking pretty cool and I'm uh, liking the style of it and everything like that. So we're going to go and have a new game. And this is just the demo, by the way. So just bear that in mind. It is only a demo stage. So, you know, you can't expect the earth at demo stage. But considering it's at demo stage, it's actually got a lot to it already so oh, we're going to continue so we've got a little bit of a, a starter story here I seem to have slept for a long time I think this is only in Mandarin at the moment I think there's no um, English translation yet but obviously subtitles are good enough for me hey did you disturb my dream eh aren't you the legendary hero who saved the world you have a legendary identity, great power, and it also means endless trouble. Yeah, these heroes, those those powerful heroes are just troublemakers. We don't want them on our farm. Go back, this is my field. I don't allow you to bring trouble in. This whole, like, you being a, a sort of a great powerful person and, and sort of just dropping in on, on the farm... It gives me sort of Room Factory vibes. So I don't know if it gives anybody else that sort of vibe, but definitely I feel Room Factory idea. And I think it does It does seem to have stamina and health and things like that, so I think there might possibly be some fighting involved. I'm not sure yet, though. I haven't come across it yet. Um, okay, so I'm going to be willing to hide my strength. Great power has accomplished your glory, but you don't intend to use it anymore? It's interesting that you're already the most powerful person in the mainland, but you choose to remain anonymous. What makes you so persistent here? I think that's like what makes you want to stay here. Um, and I'm going to say a true friend. I see, is that your real wish? No one in this town knows your past. You can make friends with the most real appearance. I'm not sure 100% what that one means. Um... Let me know in the comments if you have an idea what what exactly this this uh, this would mean if the English was written a little better because uh, some of the meaning is getting lost at this point I think with it, but I think it just means you know you can make a fresh start. That's what I'm interpreting it as. Okay, you're qualified. I'll allow you to hide the past and become a member here. It's almost time. I should continue to sleep, but we'll meet again at that time. So like yeah, loving loving the story. I think it's a really cool little story to start off with. The idea that you're the legendary hero. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Littlewood in a way, where you're the legendary hero that becomes a farmer. Certainly a story that's been done before a couple of times. But then again, like, I do play, like, almost every game of this type. <laughs> it's very rare there's ones that I miss. So it's like, you're going to get some repetition, I think. And uh, inspirations from different different ones that have come before <gasps> final fantasy 40. <laughs> ah, i need to remember the chocobo song now but yes i am excited to have a bird that i can ride if that is indeed something that is in this game <gasps> pig stop you'll see that in a minute because that's one thing i did do in my little uh test play and it's like <gasps> Although I think it needs a cutscene. <laughs> I think that needs adding before the game goes fully live. So, Wallace, congratulations, your resume has met the requirements of our town. Just confirm the information and you can become the new owner of our farm. Yay! It's, it's been a while. We've been playing with power grids for the last week. So, it's nice to uh, have a farm again, isn't it? So, you can have Kelly. Or you can have Burgess. So, Burgess is a navigator from the sea country. And can fish better, so if you go for the male character, you get a bit of fishing proficiency. Go for the female character, you get a bit of a planting proficiency. And then Winnie, you get some, like, clothing uh, ones. And uh, the initial collection proficiency is proficiency. So I don't know whether this is locked because she can be unlocked with gameplay. Or whether maybe 
later on, um, she will be unlocked. Maybe she's still being created. I'm not sure. But so she's a tailor. Burgess is a navigator, and Kelly is a horticulturalist. So I think we're going to go with Kelly. So and also, this is is this where they're from? I think this is. Yeah, so Kelly, for example, is from the Free State. Located in the west of the mainland, it's a federal state led by many nobles, advocating freedom and adventurism and boasting self-expression, which is a paradise for artists and adventurers. Well, we need a good adventurer, don't we? And Burgess is from the sea country in the coastal country on the north of the mainland. People here love poetry and stories and attach importance to families. They believe that all things have spirits, serve their ancestors and believe that the spirits of their ancestors will protect future generations. Okay. And so Winnie will eventually be from the Magic Sand Kingdom, which sounds awesome. A kingdom located in the southern part of the continent, most of its territory is desert. Despite the sparse vegetation, the rich mineral resources have brought considerable wealth to the people here. So if this is going to be like Portia, where it's going to have like a whole kingdom of things going on, and it's going to have like its whole sort of law of all these different um, regions and things, I think this could be quite a winner, honestly. If it has that sort of depth to it, then I'd be very, very happy. So, of course, we're going to go with Kelly. Because, A, I think having a planting proficiency in a farming game would probably be quite useful. And, B, she's a girly girl like me. Okay. So, this is Kelly. I love the clothing. Who... Who doesn't like a little bit of a sort of uh, Lolita styly dress? Oh, it's maybe not quite Lolita styly, but you know what I mean. Well, it's frilly and stuff, isn't it? So a little frilly dress. Who who doesn't love that, right? So we've got some hairstyles. Hairstyles are important. Hairstyles are always best to look at the back of them first. So you basically got the ponytail. You've got the long hair. You've got the bunchy bunches, and you've got a little short style with a cute tail thing at the front there. So from the front they look like this. And I think, honestly, I like the little bunchy bunches the best and I think that's what we're gonna go with today. There is a lot of customization. I'm probably not gonna do a ton of customization because I think her face is super pretty already. It's lovely. Might tweak a couple things like colors of hair, for example. <laughs> but you can do things like you can have the whole forehead changed around. I don't entirely know what that is doing. Can I see from this side? Not really, so I'll leave it how it was. Change the cheekbones around. I don't know if, that, if they come out. Yeah, you can see them coming out to the side a little bit. The face itself, you can make it much narrower. You can make it much, much wider. So you've got lots of um, the jaw, I think you can pull it down a little bit actually that's kind of nice I think um, so lots of customization uh, so we've got some lipstick we can put on some pretty pink lipstick or a little, that orangey one's quite nice actually I'm not usually a fan of orange lipstick but that kind of suits her and uh, skin you can go like if you wanted to go dark you could absolutely go very very dark with it if you wanted um, it's not usually, you can go extremely light, so you can almost have like a, it almost looks geisha-like, doesn't it? Probably not, not, not quite that, but, uh, I think if you wanted, you could actually have like, you could have like bright red skin, you could actually go entirely purple if you wanted, <laughs> but I think I'm going to stick with a slightly more, um, Skinny skin tone? Oh gosh, I think I need to reset it because um, I think I may have messed with the skin tones a bit too much there. <laughs> I've got a lot of red in it yet now, hasn't it? Maybe I should yellow. Yeah, a bit more yellow to it. That kind of <laughs> evens it out a little bit, makes it look more like actual skin. Okay. But just to say that like, you can have any skin colour you want, but the features are a little bit more restricted. Um, okay, so eyebrows. Interestingly, every time you change an eyebrow, you change the eye... Uh, the eyelashes. Sorry, I forgot the word for eyelashes then for a second. Because I'm such a pro. 
So you can change the height of the nose up and down. And around just gives it a slightly longer look. Oh, well, that's actually quite nice. Give it a little bit of a longer nose. I like that. Then we've got some special makeup. We can have like little, those little those little Naruto cat thingies. I love them. Little flower. Can have like a scar. Can have slightly flusher cheeks. Little hearts. Some little sort of beauty spots. I'm tempted to have the little cat things. Go on. I'm going to indulge myself today. <laughs> right. So I did decide that we'd have the bunchies. And I'm going to make them purple. So there's also a highlight as well. But you can go really quite... Quite a nice bright purple which i really do like and i am going to change the highlight over to maybe maybe we could even just have like a pinky color <gasps> oh isn't that like to die for yes i think that is the one so with the eyes as well you've actually got changes to the pupils so you can make the pupils a lot interesting looking now you can make your eyes look a bit like galaxies Kind of like. I'm gonna go with that, I think. Okay, so I think that is She Lab for us. She's looking really, really cool. And she will be now called She Lab. My test one was called Kelly, but it's fine. Yeah, you see what I mean? Only Chinese or English characters. So I'm almost certain this is a Chinese developer. Um, and so they probably developed the game using. I'm not sure of all the Chinese languages, but probably something like Mandarin. And then um, they've like translated that into English, which is why some of the stuff still needs a little bit of a look over, probably by a native English speaker who can say, well, that translated well in like Google Translate, but it's not really making as much sense in when an English speaker reads it. So that's that's the point. I think that's the point of having proper like um, localization companies and things like that looking over things. But obviously, like I say, that's not something that I think a company would look at like super early on. So it's definitely something that we see a lot in these demos and things. But it's looking like but the graphics on it look so cute. And you can tell that there's these all these little funny stories. And some of them, as I say, are a little bit um, a little bit strange to read because of the localization, but you can tell that once they're once they're polished up, they're going to be really cute, lovely little stories. So let's get into it, because I'm waffling your ears off. Congratulations for becoming the new owner of the farm. In order to welcome you, the mayor has been waiting for you. See the bus stop ahead. That's convenient transportation for our town. The residents of the town can use it for free, free transport that I don't, well, I might have to build, but at least, at least one stop of it I don't have to build. Be quick, let's use it to, uh, to get to the farm now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and sometimes make it more understandable. Okay, so we need to move to the Piggy Express. This is the Piggy Express. How cute is that? There's a little piggy dude and you ride him around town. <gasps> oh. Anyway, let's go to the firm farm first. The mayor is still waiting for us. So, let's go. So we need to go to farm station. And the little piggy guffy goes, look! Ah! <laughs> so cool. I love how Wallace thanks the pig for the ride. He gives him a little pat. This is your farm. How's it going? Isn't it good? So that would probably be something like, um, you know, do you like it? Is it nice? You know. Although it looks a little deserted now, I believe as long as you take good care of it, it'll soon come back to life. The mayor should be taking care of wheat at the gate at the farm cabin. Let's go and find him. Okay, let's go. Going to sleep again. Um, unexpectedly, he fell asleep again. He clearly said to make him a good impression on the newcomer. Sheila, please forgive him. The mayor hasn't had a good sleep for a long time because of the farm. Let's be a little considerate to him. Thank you, you're a really responsible person. Oh, sorry. You're really a reasonable person. I think the mayor will wake up later. Okay, so we wait for him. Oh, there he is. Hello, mayor. 
My god, Wallace, who did you bring? Why don't you wake me up? Mia, this is our newcomer in the farm, Sheila. She's a gentle and considerate person. She told me not to disturb you. Am I right? Anyway, it's rude to be so rude to the newcomer. Hello, young man. Um, I think they haven't put in necessarily like male and female or well, in certain parts of it. So it probably should be like young lady or young woman or something like that for um, for Kelly's character or she loves character as she is now. I'm Mayor Hart here. Young people in town like to call me Uncle Hart. You can do the same if you don't mind. As a newcomer, you must have a lot of problems. I wonder if you're interested in listening to me briefly introduce the town. Well, seeing as you guys are watching this for the first time, I think we should definitely listen to that. I knew no one could resist the curiosity about the town. The legend of the goddess spread here once... Uh, sorry, the legend of goddess spread here once attracted many people. That was a legend a long time ago, Wallace. Now the most important thing in our town is the quiet and rich pastoral life. But for today's young people, this may be unattractive. Mayor, what are you talking about in front of our new people? There's no place more charming than this land. I believe Shelab will fall in love with it immediately. Hart, you're still the same. You're full of fighting spirit when you hear the bad words of the town. So when you hear the, the town bad-mouthed, I guess. Um, haha, this is also your advantage. And I would say that that means that that's a, a good trait. Uh, Sheila, Wallace is looking forward to you. Maya, don't stick to these unimportant things. Don't you see that our Sheila is a little tired? Aren't you lost again? Took our newcomers around the town. Um, uh, that might be... You should take her on a tour. <laughs> oh, no, you got lost in the town at some point? It was a year ago. No, I won't get lost. It was just sightseeing. Don't be shy. There are some lovely shortcomings that will make you more charming. <laughs> so the idea is she got lost, but he thinks it's cute. Uh, by the way, the cabin in the back is your new home. We've cleaned it for you. <gasps> Sparkly! When you have time, you can slowly decorate it as you'd like. And I'll be a guest at that time. Young man, this may be your first time living on a farm, but don't worry, life starts from scratch and has fun growing up. Seeing you like sorry, sorry, seeing you is like seeing myself. It reminds me of those lost youth. I once worked on a farm and won the first prize in the best farming posture competition in the town. So I think it, uh, it was a farming pose competition, I'm pretty sure. See? <laughs> like this. Don't worry, his head hasn't fallen off. It's just his hat with a wig. I was slightly concerned when I saw him with that big, like, side. And then all of a sudden his head was on the ground. I was like, oh, what happened there then? And then it was like, oh, okay, it's just his wig. Ah, the wind is noisy today. I want to breathe fresh air above my head. Ah. Oh, Wallace, it's almost time. I have to go back to the guild to deal with the rest of the work. As for our newcomer, I'll leave it to you to teach him how to work on the farm. So, yeah, and he runs away. <laughs> I think he's a little embarrassed. Oh. Okay, so you can use a hoe to aim at the end empty land and press F to cultivate the land. Do you see what I mean about these ones are written extremely well? So that makes me think that whoever's been on these will probably eventually be on the dialogue. Um, so when there are obstacles, stones, wood, blocks, etc. on the land, it cannot be cultivated and it needs to be cleared before it can be cultivated. On the cultivated land, press the corresponding number key on the quick key bar to take out the seed bag. Then press F to plant the seeds. Unplanted seeds will remain in the backpack. Use a kettle, uh, that means watering can, to aim at the planted land and use press F to water. After the crops are mature, press left click to harvest. The land after the crops is harvest needs to be recultivated before planting seeds. So, yeah, you see that's written much, much better. Although the kettle is quite, kind of amusing. Right, let's close. Uh, I didn't expect the mayor to reveal his biggest secret so quickly. He wanted to make a good impression on you. He must be depressed. I'll send him his hat when I'm free, but I better teach you how to farm now. Okay, let's go for it. Tutorial on farming. Don't worry, I'll teach you hand in hand to make you a qualified farmer. Step by step, I think that means. Um, this is a hoe for you. Let's start with hoeing.
Okay, I'm gonna go do some hoeing. You can see some iron and things. I, th I think that's why the iron or copper there. You're doing a good job, Wallace. You can be my uh, you can be my apprentice. <laughs> Did you see my demonstration just now? You can reclaim the uncultivated land using a hoe. The rest depends on you. Give it a try. So I don't know whether you only have certain squares that you are allowed to cultivate and, and whether you need to... Um... Oh, I've completely mastered the skill of farming. Do you need to learn it again? <laughs> you being a bit sarcastic because <laughs> I tried to go away. Okay, let's let's hurry the land. I was trying to talk to my viewers, Wallace, about about like what might be ahead in the game, but no. <laughs> you had to give me sass. Okay, good job. You've successfully reclaimed this land, and we are one step closer to our goal. Now let's sow on the reclaimed land. Try this bag of radish seeds. Okay, so press the number, so press 1, and F to sew. Uh, you can't really press like, press like left click to sew, which I would love you to be able to do, but I can understand if that's not something that uh, that comes in. I think you might be able to do a little bit of key, key rebinding as well in the settings, if that's something that does really bug you at any point. So one thing is essential for seeds to thrive. I'm sure you've guessed it. Now switch the tool to the newly obtained watering can and water the sown land. So you've got a tool ring in this game, similar to things like Animal Crossing. As before, I'll demonstrate it first. Sheila, pay attention and watch me. Okay, I will watch you. <gasps> See, like instant giant plant growth, which is super satisfying to see. I love it. I love giant crops. Okay, when the seeds absorb enough water, they'll begin to grow. The soil blocks that have been watered will become darker, and there's no need to water them today. Seeds will grow rapidly only when they're full of water. So so they'll grow rapidly probably as you water them, or like if they remain watered, we will see. I'm sure that will become very apparent as things grow. Let's try it yourself. So basically, if it looks like this, water it. If it looks like that, don't water it. So the watering can's already in for us, so we just need to keep pressing F. Um, this one on each square, so obviously the when we planted everything, it's a, it's a three by three. And I wonder whether maybe I can see that the watering can looks like it's made of wood and that there is metal to farm, so I'm imagining there will be probably some upgrades. But I probably have to meet the right person to help me with that first. Wallace, you're more talented than I thought. Maybe you'll become a planting expert in the future. Don't forget to water those radishes every day so you can harvest them in a few days. I can't tell whether the corn needs doing as well. See the box at the door at five o'clock every afternoon, someone will come to collect the goods. You just put the things you need to sell into the box and you can get paid the very next day. Lovely. I think they do need, they need harvesting actually. Approach the shipping bin and press left click to open it. You can put the items you want to sell in the bin. The goods you put in before 5 p.m. every day will be taken away and you get paid the next day. Did I? Growing crops is a way to make money. You can go to don't want to open grocery store. I think that's a little bit of, a little bit more sass. Uh, possibly a little bit of a joke on the way that the, grocery stores you're always trying to race to get to them before they shut in these games so I think that might be I think that might be the joke there not sure though to buy the seeds you need and plant them on the farm don't forget to water the sown land every day different crops need different growth times when they mature they can be harvested put the crops in the shipping bin for shipment for the goods put them in before five every day you can receive the payment early the next morning okay uh, these are the small gifts given to you by the mayor he hopes you can take good care of your farm in the future so 500 gold coins. In order to help you get familiar with farm life as soon as possible, the mayor prepared a journal for you and left some simple tasks in the memo. Open it and have a look. Okay, so press T to open the diary book and click the memo on the interface to view the current task in progress. So I'm not sure whether you can press tab or something. No, you can't. Mm, okay, so T gets into the journal. And you've got your inventory. It looks like you have equipment separate the rest of your inventory which is very nice for a farming game and it does look like 
You've got a rather large inventory as well. I don't know whether it's unlimited or, or what, but it's looking like you can filter it. So a good inventory in a farmer game is really important because especially if they cram in, if they're like, oh yeah, we've got this game with like 200 items in it or something, and then they don't give you enough inventory space and you're constantly having trouble with it, then that, that is a problem. It's something that I struggled with a lot in Spirit of the Island, but people were telling me that if I made a load more keys and opened a load more chests, I probably would have found a new bag, so I think that might be my fault for not exploring enough. <laughs> so anyway, we've got uh, my equipment. Uh, we've got, so you can sort of filter it by hose, kettles, axes, hammers, fishing rods, sickles, and special tools. I wonder what special tools are going to be. Um, these are my stats, so my vitality, my hit points. And it looks like you've got a whole load of skills, um, including... I don't know why Why my fighting is at 9999 when like, everything else is really low. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, so, so maybe that's something for the demo. I'm not sure exactly why my fight skill is so high. But she's naturally good at planting, has an incredible infinity for the land. It is often said this girl must have been born with the blessing of the land. So we can learn to run faster. I like a run skill because uh, I like to be able to run faster as I go along and then eventually get a chocobo to ride around. <laughs> Sorry, they're not chocobos. <laughs> so trade, cooking, logging. Information is that maybe like a, some kind of law skill maybe? Uh, fishing and mining and then um, planting, collecting animals, fighting and running. I don't know what these are though. S E D Oh right. Right, so we are level E at everything except planting, which we're level D at, and fighting we're S level. We're just like super amazing fighter. I don't know why. Okay. So this is our map, and this is quite exciting. You can see like the whole of the farm. You've got a goddess spring, a little bit like in Harvest Moon. Uh you've got like a, a fishing lake. I don't know, God Spring. Mm. It might not have a goddess there, but it might do. You never know. <laughs> it always makes me think of Harvest Moon whenever I see like a, a lake that has a potential goddess coming out of it. You, you have to you have to hope and zoom in and out and stuff. Mine entrance there, Lost Flower Hill, a mining area station. So we've got some crafting stations around possibly. I'm not sure. Oh no, no, they'll be the piggy stations, won't they? Sorry, Storm Hill, a Cactus Crossroad, there's a hot spring. Mermaid house. Um, you can entrust Lynn to the shopkeeper here to go fishing. Sometimes you can find rare fish. Cool. So you can maybe get other people to do stuff for you. You've got a whole load of houses where people are living. So you can see where they live. Construction areas. So there are some areas that need to be sort of constructed. There's a few quests around the place already. You can see my brother's favorite dish, for example, Abby's cabin. Um, so she can go out and cut wood for you. Sometimes you can find rare wood. So I guess you can maybe pay people to do stuff. So you go to the mermaid house and pay to have fish found for you if you don't want to do certain things yourself, which would be quite nice because there's always there's always things that you don't want to do as much. So some people might love farming but hate fishing. So get someone else to do it for you. Pay them. Not sure that's how it works though. I'm just assuming. <laughs> uh, Tegex. Tegex? Father Tegix always prays here and can hold a wedding here, so you can get married in this game. That's another thing I found out already about the, the game, just by looking at the map. The church garden, where you can do a seed exchange with Amy. The town guild, so you can view the personnel of the town. So we'll go and have a look at all of these in real life. Warrior's Orchard, there's an orchard. A ranch, Becky's Birdhouse. By Goo Goo Birds. That's what that was, it's not a chocobo, it's a Goo Goo Bird. And Goo Goo Bird Feed. Oh, can't wait to get that. Right, but what we're meant to actually be doing is this. You've got a journal. You've got your relationships with everybody. There's quite a few people to unlock. 24 of them, in fact. So there's a miner and a town doctor. Orchard owner, architect, barber, ranch owner, priest, rich man, fisherman, woodcutter, birdhouse owner, Becky. The owner of Moon Bay Restaurant, the tailor, the nurse, the grocer, the bookstore owner, blacksmith, the gardener, the receiving clerk at the Guildgate, furniture owner, birdhouse staff, ranch staff, 
And I think that's it. But yeah, 24 is, I think that's a good amount. That's like manageable, but not like crazy over the top when you spend all your time doing um, social quests. So I, I think that's a nice balance, honestly. Um, especially if you don't have things like Porsche had with the the whole like interlinked social network. That was amazing. I really, really loved that. But I don't expect every game to have anything as in-depth as that. She says, look at finding relationships. Well, possibly there is some social networking going on then as well. Very nice. Nice touch, developers. I like it. And then you've got collections. So you can see what tools you've found. You can see... Um, I'll get back into there. Uh, the animals, the different ornaments, fish, materials, dishes, furniture, goods, all the different things. Once you've come across them all, I guess you get to percentage points on a collection there. Um, but anyway, what we what we wanted to look at, <laughs> saving, loading, calendar, relationship. So you've got a calendar there you can look at. You can save and load. If you want to um, save and load not in this particular journal section, there is a quick save, but it says... I think it's fast store on the on the options. I think it's here. Uh, or is it not? No, it's not. Hang on. Hang on a second. These are all the settings. But if you go like this, fast storage, that's a that's a fast a quick save. That means quick save, okay? Just in case you, you wondered. Uh, I thought I'd show you that quickly because that one threw me. But you can also save in here. So, okay. Uh, memorandum is where we're meant to be going. Open the memo. I know it took me a while, but I'm trying to show you stuff, so it's cool, right? <laughs> so you've got orders. Um, that I'm guess so I'm guessing certain people. So this is a bit like a message board sort of thing. You can go in. So you get 20 plants and 900 gold coins for giving him cabbages. Timber, 150 gold coins. So it does seem like you get a lot of coins for things. So it's probably quite a... Uh, what would the word be? It's, the, the currency is probably quite, I suppose, weak in a way? Like, there's a lot of currency to a thing you would purchase. Um, someone wants some fish. Someone also wants copper ore. There's also, uh, if I can get a proficiency in shipping... So this reminds me very much of the Pumpkin Days things where you'd have to, to ship a certain amount or do a certain amount of things as your sort of quest for the season, effectively. And harvest 30 crops. Okay, cool. Come out of here. Hmm, these are simple tasks. I believe you'll complete them soon. At the gate of the town, there's a grocery store called Anti-Open Shop. You can buy seeds of all seasons there. Laurie, the boss of the grocery store, has always been curious about you. Go and say hi to her. I can show you the way. Well, we'll, in we'll enable escort mode, but I didn't... I got this far before, and I don't think it's very good. <laughs> you're welcome. Everyone in this town is like my family. And now you're one of them. Helping each other, that's the way family members get along. So she didn't get very far before not really showing me the way anymore. <laughs> but that's fine. Now she's following me, which isn't very useful when she's trying to show me the way. But she can come with me, and I do know where it is, so it's fine. There's a few little side quests and things around that I will try and pick up soon. Um, we are 34 minutes in. Oh yeah, I've got at least another 10 minutes in me. Ah, look at her go with that axe. So they've all got, like, all the NPCs seem to have all their animations and things. And, and uh, it's actually already, as I say, there's quite a good framework here already of a game. It says it's going to be out in 2022. So we'll have to see, like... Uh, I don't know how much more development it's going to have between now and then. But there does definitely seem to be a really quite playable game here already. Okay. This is Laurie, I think. Don't want to open grocery store. Double horse tail girl. Let's see, this is another thing. Like That, that should be um, ponytail. Or obviously because it's a double, and that would become a pigtail. So there's, there's many different little colloquialisms for, for these hairstyles, aren't there? <laughs> anyway, never mind. The sun is warm. I really want to go back to sleep. Oh, I feel you. When I, it's a sunny day and the sun is just streaming into your room and your bed is all like looking all cozy. You just lie down and have a little nice nap. There's something about that. I don't know. 
By the way, I heard that new people came to the farm today. Wallace must be busy teaching them. Him. Her. Her. I'm a girl. <laughs> oh. Who are you? What are you doing standing there quietly? Listening to you talking about me. <laughs> gonna... So, you're a new sister from the farm. My name's Laurie. I'm the boss of Don't Want to Open Grocery Store. In the future, your farm can't live without me. Let's get along well. So, do you believe in telepathy? In fact, just now I was wondering who you are. Unexpectedly, you appeared. Is it because you heard my voice? I'm kidding. By the way, I also prepared a gift for you. Da 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 da! This comfortable chair was made by Pauline from the Creation Workshop. It's the same as mine. If you're tired while working the farm, just sit in a chair and recover. With this wrench, you can fold up the chair. Take my gift and you'll be my sister. I actually have something to trouble you. Did you see the broken station at the gate of the town? Since it broke down, people have to walk to the farm. Brother Poa said it needs a lot of wood and stone to repair it. It's too troublesome for me. Can you help me repair it? When the station's repaired, it'll be more convenient for Sister Chi Lab to come to me later. Okay. So all small items such as wells can be purchased from Pauline in the Creation Workshop. Press the corresponding number key to take out the small item. Select the favourite place on the farm and press left click again to put down the small item. When there are obstacles on the ground, do not put down small items. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do not do this. No, no, no. Okay, it's getting late, little sluggard, so um, today I'm going to be lazy too. So I, th I think we need to go and check out this, this station over here. So, oh, okay, how to use the repair function. Press left click to interact with the building to be repaired. After the materials are delivered, the building can be repaired. After the repair is completed, the building can be used normally. Lovely. So this needs to be repaired. We need 50 wood and 50 stones, and um, it looks like a thousand coins. I should have started with some coins, so I think that's okay. Let's see if we can get that. I don't know, do we even have, like, let's have a look and see if I've got a, an axe. I don't. So I think we might have to go, um, hmm. I'll find an axe somewhere. So maybe we should go and have a chat to maybe Pauline. So sleepy, you choose what you want. Oh, okay. A few tasks and grocery store. Grocery store, we can get cabbage seeds, white radish seeds, green onion, wheat, flax, tomato. Oh, so once I've raised my planting ability, I can do uh, tomato, onion, and cotton. Lovely. Well, I think let's go. Do you know what we'll do? We'll go try and find some wood first. I think that would be a good thing to do. Um, I've got 3,500 starter coins. Wallace said something to me. If the town becomes proper, prosperous, maybe they wouldn't leave here. See the front gate? We'll be in town. Okay, that's fine. So I guess Wallace will be in town if I need her. Oh, she is still following me around though. So there's a fisherman. So I think if I want to learn the basics, I probably need to speak to the people that I can see doing things. That would make total sense. So let's go and have a little chat if I can to Abby. And see if she will allow me to get an axe to chop down wood. I like this. It's got a good axe swinging motion. Single horse tail girl. <laughs> you are. Wait a minute. Don't say it yet. Let me reason it. The smart and elegant hairstyle. The wise and firm eyes. Plus, wheat fragments on your feet. I see. Are you the illegitimate son of the mayor who's been separated for many years? You've been wandering for many years without a basis. After all the hardships, you finally found that irresponsible father. <laughs> no. This reaction. I'm right. Are you guilty? <laughs> ah, wrong reasoning. When can I reach the level of my idol? Let me think again. According to my survey, the only people who have planted wheat on the farm recently are Uncle Hart and... 
<gasps> Are you the newcomer to the farm? Yes. Sorry, I forgot you. My name's Abby. I'm a woodcutter in town. However, I have another identity. That is detective. Although, I still have some deficiencies in reasoning. One day, I will become a very popular detective. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Abby. I'm sure you will. I don't want to say that. That's just rude. Huh? What else do I lack? I see. It's an assistant. Every detective must have an assistant around him. Just in time. You come and be my assistant. Dear assistant, now I want to reason again. Let me guess. No, it's another reasoning. What do you want to do the most? Hmm, I see. It's logging. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, let me teach you how to log. Although I'm not strong enough as a detective, when it comes to logging, I'm a master. <laughs> Seeing as you're empty-handed, I'll give you my spare axe first, which is what I was hoping for. However, it's suggested that if you want to be a woodcutter, you should go to the blacksmith shop to make an axe more suitable for yourself. So it does seem that you can specialize a little bit in this game, definitely. From what I've seen, they're talking about specializing as being a logger or being a farmer or being a fisherman or whatever. And it does seem like there are ways to get around not doing the tasks you don't want to do. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so when you're close to a tree, press F and use the axe to cut the wood. Different levels of trees require different levels of axes and corresponding skill levels. Right. So let's have a, a try at this. So C to open up, get my axe. Oh, hang on. I was meant to press F, wasn't I? Ah! Of course. There we go. I'm a terror because I think I my my little gamer instincts are like must be left click, but no. There's a special wood there. Look, iron wood came out of that. It's pretty cool. Now, do we need to get rid of the stump? Oh yes, we do. That gives me a bit more wood as well. Wonderful. So how much wood do we have now? Let's have a quick look in the old inventory and see. Can I press I to get my inventory up? No, it's always T seemingly. Okay, that's fine by me. I'll probably forget that too. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. I forgot that it was F. It was only when I was thinking, hang on, what did I do with that, um, with that hoe at the beginning? I was like, oh, you need to press F with that. And it did say in the tutorial as well, but it, this is what happens when you listen to your preconceptions. So we've got hardwood, we've got ironwood, and we've got a little bit of normal wood. We've got 17 pieces from that one tree. So I imagine by the time I've chopped down about three trees, we'll have enough of that. And then we'll go and see the stone person, and we'll fix that bus stop. You've got to allow me one derp per episode at least, though. It's just the rules, okay? They went everywhere, didn't they? Grief. Yeah, we've got quite a few. I think I'll chop down one more. And I won't make that same mistake again. And maybe until next episode. <laughs> So I think that that's probably enough wood. Obviously my stamina is going down, so I'll probably need to take a little break in a minute. Like, go and have a sleep anyway. So I'm going to go and chat to this uh, this dude. I'll check that I've got 50 wood for a start. Probably do, though. <gasps> 41? Oh, no. Maybe I need to pick up a few sticks just to make up the difference so I don't use too much stamina up. Oh, right, I can see, actually see that on my hotbar how much wood I've got. 44. Thanks, Wallace. But I actually just wanted to pick up a stick. This also kind of tidies up the town, which is always a good thing, right? Right, who are you? I need stone, so you're probably going to help me with this, right? You're going to give me a hammer, right? Miner. Oh, I like your hair. 
Are you here for that too? Do I have to be so clear? You also heard the woodcutter's rumour and came to blackmail me, didn't you? As long as you get close to me, you will encounter misfortune. Sometimes you'll be knocked unconsciously by broken ore, and sometimes you will fall into a pit dug at an unknown time. Are you threatening me? Minor. I've seen a lot of people like you extorting medical expenses from me. <laughs> what? I thought this was a place free from worldly strife, so I decided to spend the rest of my life here. Now I find there are still too many opportunistic people. People are blackmailing you? Hold up, sir. <laughs> now what? I told you so much out of kindness. Don't think you can get close to me. <laughs> Self-introduction. <laughs> it's you. I was preconceived just now. I'm sorry. My name is Clock. I'm a miner in town. The mayor mentioned you to me. He told me to give you this hammer. You can use it to mine. Yay! You can go to the death mine in the town and trust me with mining. <laughs> this is my job and I won't refuse. If nothing else, I left. Okay. Thank you, clock. When approaching the ore, press F to use a hammer to mine. <laughs> different grades of ores have different requirements for different grades of hammers and corresponding proficiency. At least I can laugh at myself, right? Okay, so we can pick up the small rocks. It looks like these bigger rocks I, I would need my hammer for. Um, and it looks like it might, if I stand in front of the right thing, it might actually choose the right tool for me. I'm not sure whether that's just because I just picked up the hammer. There we are. Lots of stone and copper and stuff. It's all over the place though, isn't it? Good grief. Okay, so we've got 18 out of our 50 stone. I think we'll get the 50 stone and we'll go and repair the bus stop and that will probably be us for the episode at that point. God, we're already at 52 minutes. That's my fault though. I may cut out some of me. Well, if I remember anyway, I'll cut out some of me like running around like a crazy person, not able to actually... <laughs> Not able to actually mine anything or cut down any trees. Stamina up. Proficiency increased. Basic stamina plus 20. Wonderful. So I had a stamina level up. And a mining level up. I'm hoping I can get 50 stone before my stamina runs out for the day. And then we'll go back home to bed after we fix the bus stop. It's already getting dark, look. Oh man, we're only too short. Why does this happen every time? So it is left click if you want to pick up like a stone off the ground. It's going to take me a little while, little while to get used to all the little tiny idiosyncrasies of this game. So we've got 50 wood, 50 stones. Enough money in the in the bank, so let's go up here. And that way, when I want to get seeds, I can go on the hog. Okay, after 7pm every day, fireflies gather on the wild bushes. As long as fireflies are caught, they'll surround you and illuminate you. For the night. Oh, wow. How do I catch them, though? That's so pretty. Oh, I'm in love with this game so much. Picking flowers as well. Okay, so we're back in the small town. So does Wallace just say she'll be at the gate? No, she never stays at the gate though, does she? She just follows me around. Um, repair. Or repair. Oh look, a little dude comes along to do it for me. Oh, and it's still got, got scaffolding on it now. Um, can I talk to you or are you too busy doing stuff? Construction worker, hello! Oh, he just says hi, okay. Well, that's fine, so I think uh, now we will run back home. And hopefully by tomorrow or the next day or however long it takes. It didn't, didn't actually say how long it took, but uh, we'll find out. By, by then, whenever that is, that it gets constructed, um, hopefully, then I'll be able to just fast travel my way up here. Oh, look, someone's been planting... 
Oh, animals in the wild and at home can be touched. After touching, the small animal will follow you until you touch the next small animal. Or the next day. Oh. Hello. Is there an animal then? Oh, there's a bird. Did it just run out? Okay. Where's there a bird? I thought they said that it was a snake, but it just said shake. <laughs> I want to know where the bird is. Am I being really dumb? Probably. I wonder if that's part of my farm or... I don't think it is though. It may well be part of this quest here. Oh, again, that'll be something we'll do later on. But I, th I think it's going to be really cool to, like, see this place reconstruct itself. I'm going to I'm gonna keep playing it, definitely. So we're going to go to bed. And I'm going to end the episode there. Are you going home to rest? And I'm going back. The guild has a lot of work waiting for me. And the escort. All right, just arrived in town. You must be tired. May you have a good rest. And that, my peeps, is going to be it from me for this first episode. So I hope you enjoyed it, even if it did take me forever to work out how to cut down a tree. <laughs> but like I say, that won't happen again. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I think it was a really, really, really cool uh, start and definitely very promising about how it's going to continue. Really enjoying the gameplay in it, definitely. And I think there's some, some cool stories to be unearthed. And I'm looking forward to meeting some more of the characters as well. So I hope you enjoyed as well. If you did then, please do leave me a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.